Halo is a series that has no shortage of different game modes. There's a lot of variety and a lot of different things to play, so for the most part there tends to be something for everyone, whether they be more casual modes like Infection, or something a bit more competitive like Oddball. Even if you're not a massive Halo fan, you might still find a mode that you quite enjoy. And in today's video, I'm going to be ranking my top 5 Halo game modes. Of course, before we do begin, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. I really do appreciate it and it really does help the channel out. Also worth mentioning, a lot of the footage you're going to see in this video has actually been recorded with members of the Discord. So if you want to actually feature in a video, maybe jump in. Some of our Master Chief Collection game nights or Infinite game nights, feel free to join that. I'll leave a link in either the pinned comments or the description. We usually tend to have a lot of fun and it'd be awesome to have some more people joining in with that. But anyway, without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight in. At the number 5 spot we have Dominion. It's a pretty fun mode that was introduced in Halo 4 and only present in Halo 4, sort of. It's one that I remember having a lot of fun on when Halo 4 was originally released and something that I always go back to when playing Master Chief Collection. The best map for it is definitely Exile, but it can be fun on some of the other maps too. Essentially, in concept, you're capturing different zones and then fortifying them. You need to capture the zones which then generate points for your team. If you capture all three, you can then wipe out every enemy player and instantly win the game, or you can win by points. The bases that you capture will be fortified with turrets and even vehicle or weapon spawns. Sometimes there might be a Wraith or a Banshee, and it's pretty fun overall. You're not just capturing the bases to win the game, you're also capturing it because it's going to benefit your team massively with the loot that it provides. And this is definitely a game mode I'd love to see return in some capacity. I mean, they could easily do it with the banished turrets that are present in Halo Infinite. Maybe if we had some maps that were designed for it, that could be pretty fun. But who knows, someone might create it in Forge. I really hope so, because this mode is awesome. It's definitely one of the best big team battle modes, but it's not the best. At the number 4 spot we have Capture the Flag. Now I more so prefer the big team battle variant, but as a whole Capture the Flag is one of the most intense adrenaline fueled modes within Halo. It's definitely an iconic one, it's been present since day 1 and I think it was also kind of boosted in popularity by Red vs Blue a little bit. But Capture the Flag is one of my favourite modes to play, obviously that's why it's in this list. And it just puts you in some really intense scenarios which I absolutely adore. It's always terrifying when you're playing in an arena match. You have the enemy flag, but they also have your flag, so neither team can cap. And then it's just a matter of which other team can retain their flag first. There always tends to be a lot of strategy involved, especially depending which maps you're on. I think when it comes to big team battle, it is definitely, again, one of the best big team battle modes. It's always insane when you've got your teammates pushing with, like, Warthogs or Scorpions, trying to push the enemy flag and seeing if you can pull this attack off. As it stands right now, it's currently my favourite big team battle mode to play within Halo Infinite. I absolutely love Infinite's Capture the Flag. And although I'm not as fond of Arena CTF, that's still really fun too. There's been a few times where I've streamed and we've done like 6v6 CTF on Breaker. And it is so chaotic, but that really adds to the fun of it. And I mean, when it comes to playing it on big team battle, there's such iconic maps to play it on like Valhalla, Fragmentation or Blood Gulch. So it is straight up just one of the most iconic modes from the franchise. It's a pretty iconic mode within gaming. And it's it's always fun. No matter what game mode, no matter what map, no matter what game it's on, Capture the Flag is always a blast. Slicing its way into the number three spot, we have Infection. Infection's just terrifying. We've seen so many different versions of it throughout Halo's past. It was introduced in Halo 3. And in Halo 3, it's fine. It definitely took some fine tuning to get it to the amazing point it reached in. Halo 5, I would say Halo Infinite if we had it, but Infection is definitely one of the best social modes to play in Halo in general. My personal favourite version is Halo 2 Anniversary, I think it takes all of the best elements of Infection, the fact that the Infected look like the Flood and have that really cool Infected Red Energy Sword. The gameplay also feels very quick and again really intense. I don't think there's anything more terrifying than seeing the last man standing thing pop up on your screen as you then notice several red dots heading towards you in your radar. I really can't stand Infection in Halo Reach, but to be fair, I don't really like Reach's multiplayer in general. As I said earlier, Halo 3's was fine. Halo 4's was like a really cool twist, but it kind of ruined Infection custom games, which is a shame. But Halo 4's, I don't think I will ever be able to get the sort of screaming, laughing sound that the Infected did make on Halo 4's as they like sort of thrust towards you. It's just horrifying. 
And then again, Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 5 are pretty much perfect. The only reason Halo 2 Anniversary kind of uh, beats Halo 5s, in my opinion, is just, again, because the infected look like the Flood, which I think really adds to the theme. It's great that people are going to be able to make it in Forge and Halo Infinite while we have to wait for it. Apparently, it's coming in Season 4. So, there's still a bit of a wait, but I guarantee it will be worthy because Infection is just amazing. And it'll be nice to finally have some more of those casual playlists, some more of those casual modes that you can just relax and enjoy with your friends. Yes, Infection isn't always relaxing, I know that, but for the most part, it is just a very casual mode. Smashing its way into the number two spot, we have Juggernaut. Again, a very social playlist, a very social mode. One that you never really see very often in matchmaking, but one that members of my Discord and myself play quite frequently. We tend to play a variant that I created in custom games called Morbius. I know, that, I know the meme's dead, guys, but I really want to plug the Discord here. You should join to play Morbius mode with us. It's essentially Halo 3 Juggernaut, but the Juggernaut can steal health like a vampire. And that's a super fun mode to play. But Juggernaut in general, like regular Juggernaut in Halo Reach, it's... It's really scary when you see the Juggernaut changes their attention to you, and then when, you play, when you're playing as the Juggernaut, you literally feel unstoppable. Even if only for a few moments until someone takes you out, for the most part, you feel completely unstoppable. You're fast, you've got this big hammer, and you're just popping heads. Halo 3 and Reach tend to be the ones where I play Juggernaut the most because I do feel like they're some of the better versions. Halo 3 more so in how customizable it is. But I don't think there's ever been a bad rendition of Juggernaut. Again, another mode that it sucks, it's not an infinite right now. We have been seen, we have been shown that you can recreate it in Forge, which again is great. Players are going to be able to recreate it, that's sweet. It's just a shame that we have to wait a little bit longer for its actual return. And dropping its way into the number one spot is Warzone. I truly believe that Warzone is the best game mode we have ever had in a Halo game, especially when it comes to big team battle. The mixture of PvP and PvE is absolutely perfect, and then if you want to take it a step further, there is Warzone Firefight, which takes all of the elements from Warzone, like the Rex, but introduces or implement it in a much more PvE casual way. Yes, Warzone does have one glaring issue, which is the monetization of it and the wrecks in general, but I feel like if it was something they could bring back, it's something they could do pretty well without monetizing it. Basically making it a bit similar to how Star Wars Battlefront 2 matches work, where you earn points in the match that you then use to summon in different items. I know that is what you do in Warzone, but I mean without paying for the items first. I have a lot of memories attached to Halo 5 and this mode. I didn't realise I was nostalgic for Halo 5, but playing Warzone recently, which I'm very surprised I managed to get a game, but playing it recently to get footage for this really made me realise how fun this is. Sneaking into a base and taking out the marines inside, and then capturing it and then defending the base with the marines that are now on your side. Or going off and fighting mini bosses like Warden Eternal or Tank Master Rock. Some of the level design for it was pretty solid too for the most part. There were some that I really, really hate. But this is one mode that I really desperately hope they bring back in some capacity. This was Big Team Battle 2.0. Not what we got in Infinite. Honestly, what we got in Infinite as a whole kind of feels like a step back. But Warzone was Big Team Battle 2.0. Even though the overall player count wasn't much higher than what we had before, because you had the, the PvE elements sprinkled in there, it just felt like a massive mode, and I really hope they consider bringing it back. I'd love some blend of Warzone and Invasion, I think that would be perfect. Imagine you've got like one team that is playing as elites and they're pushing with like squads of grunts, whereas the spawns are defending with marines, and it has some kind of wreck system, that would be <laughs> perfect. But anyway, those are my picks for my top five Halo game modes. Let me know your list down in the comments because I'm curious to hear what everyone has to say. I know most people are going to have very different takes. I'm much more of a casual competitive player. I like to play a lot of casual modes, but I play them much more competitively than the average player. But I know there's definitely some people that are probably watching this that care much more about the competitive modes and the competitive side of things. So feel free to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And again, join the Discord if you want to join in with some of the MCC or Infinite Game Nights that we do. But anyways, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.